this is Artifacts of Mars. And somebody got me going on this on chat groups. Uh, concerning Richard E. Byrd III, which, who is a uh, admiral in the U.S. Navy, and he did some polar expeditions, I guess both poles. I have never studied this guy very much, maybe I should. Operation Hijunk, 1946-1947, went down to the Antarctic, and took a look, look around there. Operation Deep Freeze, South Pole. And basically, he said that the Earth was hollow, and there were openings on both poles, and you fly in there, there was the sun inside and all that. I'm not much into that. But, uh, I think you're going to find the images I got, uh, it's actually just going to be on video from uh, Google Earth. I think you're going to find that quite interesting. I don't know what I'm going to find when I get to the South Pole. I tried entering North Pole in it directly and didn't work. So, I had to improvise. What I did was I dragged the globe to the north right up at the top until it started going all the way, and then I found where the uh, North Pole was that way. By experiment, rather than typing it in directly, because uh, it just would not cooperate. I think you're going to find this interesting. I'm going to put this on hold while I bring up Google Earth for the North, and then North Pole, and then we'll look at the South Pole. Hold on, please. Okay, you see this little dot here? That's no, you know what they're calling it? Polar melt, the Arctic ice camps. It's right here in this area well how do you like that my video thing isn't working all right the video drawing tool they call it poor milk. But look what happens when you zoom in. This is what you get. You don't get anything. It's all pixelated out. Now how do you like that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Any place else I can zoom in any populated area. I can zoom in, see houses, towns, villages, roads. But this is what you get. Is that bizarre or what? Was it me? Dang the final. Polar melt by Arctic ice caps. It doesn't even say North Pole. So and you have all these little symbols. I don't know what those are. So, this is really weird. Could make a believer out of me, I suppose. Now, I'm going to put this on hold, and I'm going to drag it down to the South Pole, see what we can get. This should be interesting. Well, the artifacts march again, and here we are at South Pole on Google Earth. It's the same thing. You have these radiant, it's radiating out from the pole. Everything's all pixelated, you really can't see anything. I'm going to try to go in as close as I can this time, because I'm getting a little angry. Well, I 
had down to the ground this time. This is South Pole Station, whatever. But isn't that bizarre? You have all these lines radiating out? I don't know what to make of that. I'm just, a, I'm just a dumb old cowboy at heart, so sorry. You really can't tell much from unless they claim that South Pole Station. what you get. In the overhead view you get all this you get it's all lined out, pixelated and all that. Is this bizarre or is it what? Or what? You know, maybe Bird uh, was on to something. I don't know. That's Antarctica, right there, just for comparison's sake. So you just see it South Pole on Google Earth, only you have all these lines coming out of everywhere, and they kind of shift around, go light, go dark, that type of thing, and. That's about it. You can judge for yourself whether you think this is, you know, what there is to this. But I would say that we got ourselves a bit of a mystery. As much as, you know, you have all this pixelation right where uh, Bird said there were uh, openings in the earth. And judge for yourself, I don't really care. I don't much care what people think. Uh, I, may, I uh, design my own path. So, now that's the lower half, lower half of your planet. So, whatever. The artifacts of Mars, it's been an interesting uh, experience looking at this. Something odd about this. Thanks for watching.